Hey, morning. It's Dave. Who else would it be? It's Dave's vlog, so kind of makes sense. Anyways, out here at the property, it's June 25th, and uh, it's like um, 83, 84 out, so gonna be a warm one. Got a pretty busy day. I got a bunch of weed control, so I'm gonna work on that first. And then I got some wood. We're gonna make a um, shooting bench out of. Um, so pretty much spent a, lot, a little bit of time defining the pistol range and now I want to finish up the rifle range. I got the area defined. I need to, and I put a target down there, but I want to get a shooting bench. So, um, not get one, make one. So we're going to do that. So, um, anyways, we'll get to that right after I do a little bit of weed control. Hopefully everything runs and I can do that. And, uh, We'll see what kind of day we can turn out. All right. Um, pretty one, though. It's beautiful here. Oh, it's a little warm. Feels good. All right. So, anyway, enjoy it. Dave out. All right. So, Dave back here. So, getting ready to start on the project here. And uh, so, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sweaty. But it's like hot out. So, I'm going to be sweaty this whole time. I'm just sorry. That's what it is. So I spent a lot of time looking on the, you know, YouTube and the internet, what was a good shooting stand. And I want one, I shoot left-handed, but I also want one to accommodate somebody right-handed, which most of my friends are right-handed. So I needed one that had the seat in the, you know, both sides. I also wanted it, you know, I chose out of wood, although there are good videos out there on um, stuff made out of steel, aluminum, um, concrete i saw so metal just different metal components so uh if you could weld there's plenty of options there if you like concrete work there's options there there's plenty of designs out there so for wood i wanted i didn't want one that was totally portable so but i did want one i can slide around and move if i want to i do want to eventually put a shed over the top of mine to protect it so that would be coming later but for now, um, I just needed a, you know, good one with seats on both sides and stable. So that's what I was looking for. So the best one I found is the one that Outdoor and the Morgans did. They did it early on in one of their episodes. And um, I, I, believe me, I searched through to meet my what I needed. I, I spent way too much time on this. But I really like theirs. So, um, so I... I used his plans, uh, but I changed some things because his, he wanted real heavy duty, sturdy. So everything is, you know, two by eights, two by sixes. Um, I switched to using a lot of two by fours and still use a couple two by eights and some two by sixes. And I'll put the cut list. I'll show it in the video, the cut list how I did it, and um, but I thought it was brilliant how he put it together. It's really, you build the stand and then you build the seat and you'd build it all one time, but it's like two different parts. And it's really cool how he figured, how he decided to do it. So I give them credit, uh, really big credit for in ingenuity. Um, the other difference, they used, a, I think he uses two by sixes for the top. I, I'm using a piece of plywood, and I have my reasons for that. I want an edge so rounds don't fall off and things don't roll off of it because mine's going to be on a bit of an incline, not totally level, which is purposeful. I want mine on a bit of an incline because I'm looking down into a valley. And so I want that. I want that aspect. And um, so other than that, the changes, few changes I made, it's the design's pretty much the same. So anyways, I'm going to get started. The first cuts I got to make are the, um, the base um, and then the top um, frame, base frame, top frame, and the four legs. And then they'll all go together. And then um, once that's together, then I'll cut and uh, work on the seat part. So... All right, let me get started and uh, we'll get going on this. Uh, I'm gonna run a video so you'll see some of the action and I'll try to uh, share the cuts that I'm doing as I'm doing it. So anyways, on with the show. Dave out. All right, so 
first up, four legs, and they're 40, net 35 inches, and I'm using the pressure treated. So here's a, here's a spot where I'm using pressure. It's okay. So the next thing is the bottom frame. And so out of that, I need two that are 25 and two that are 43. Out of the pressure treated, 225 and 243. And then, same thing out of the non pressure treated, 225 and 243. So, 225. Way too hot sitting so. there. Yeah. All right, so starting on the assembly. So this is, will be the lower frame, so it's out of the pressure treated. Then I'll do the upper frame and then we'll attach the legs and you'll see how the base is put together. This is pretty, pretty clever how uh, Mike Morgan did it. I, uh, I appreciated his ingenuity. Eddie, Eddie Smith and I went to Oxley, Missouri, and uh, we picked up a tractor, a Yanmar 1500, and this trailer. Um, I was living in Virginia, and I stopped off in uh, Louisville and picked Eddie up, and he rode with me all the way to Oxley and back. It was quite the trip. It was fun there. Back in the days, I had a little bit more energy. Could do a little bit more stuff. So that's 2004. So that makes this trailer 16 years old. It's the second bed. First bed was uh, uh, pine, is pressure treated pine. That's what it came with. But this is eight quarter rough sawn oak which is held up really well um, i replaced the decking probably 2010 or so. so the first deck only last what six years maybe not not quite what you would expect all right so here's the length here's the width we're gonna put some legs in Bottom this here, leg here, one here, and then we'll turn her and do the same.
All right, let's get this top on. So, you're gonna see the fun of doing things all by yourself as I maneuver this way. Centerpiece. It is right across here. And I need to measure that. Make sure we get it right. I'm diggity. All right. Put this one in. That's definitely stiffen it up. Now the next is two by eight, three of them, that will come off and form the center section of the bench. And uh, it's kind of cool how it all ties together. Um, I like the engineering of it. I think it's pretty cool, very thoughtful. So anyways, let me cut the two by sixes, three of them, should be 43. The length of that, so each length, or two by four. Center point and center point. You know where to put these. All right, so that's probably it for me today. I'm wore out. Only got so much left in me. I still got to do the deer block. And uh, so we're cut it off there. It's a good spot to leave it. And we'll finish it up next time I come out, hopefully. All right, Dave out. Hey, Dave again. So down here at the creek which is bone dry still you know they got some rain and it ha actually hasn't held water since was it june say pretty much for the whole month of june so uh which definitely means it's very seasonal creek 
um, all spring it held water but now it's it's just not even when the rains come it dries right up afterwards it's muddy but there's no water in it so um anyway as uh oh, part one of building that bench i wanted to get it done in one trip out here but not gonna happen i just i can't get it all done i run out of steam so uh we'll do part two and maybe we'll wrap it up i'd like to the day i finish i like to actually shoot off of it and so maybe we can do that hopefully that would work out that allow us to do that so uh, we not only finish working on it but uh give it a whirl so give it a try all right so as uh, as i always say uh, remember be kind treat everybody as you like to be treated uh don't forget to help your brother out and your brother's anybody around you so that's it for now busy june 25th dave out